positive when I plug in zero, so my end answer would be a positive. Ah, that means I take the top version. So your graph might look a little different than mine because remember, it, we don't know how high or low these loops go. We just know if it's pos positive above the x-axis or if it's negative below the x-axis. And lastly, now we have to check this end. It goes up or does it go down? Okay, now this time go ahead and pick the test point and check your signs and see if your answer matches mine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick five, why not? So plugging that in, positive, 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 and answer, positive. Which means this here is our winner, and he, I'm sorry, next year, maybe he'll win. All right, and there is a basic graph of our sketch, or sorry, a basic sketch of our graph. You can go ahead and check um, to see what this looks like in Wolfram Alpha if you want to, or plug it in on your calculator. All right, last one, here we come. Okay, so same thing, I'm gonna find the zeros and then I'll use my test points. Okay, so however many zeros we find, that's actually, that they break our graph up into sections. So let's see. Um, I have one zero coming from here, that's gonna be x equals zero. My other zero, it's gonna be x minus three, and the last one will be from here, which would be x plus two. Oop, x equals two, excuse me. And remember, we get those from setting each of our factors to zero and solving. All right, and here we go, let's test points. Let's see, plotting these down, we'll get one, two, three, and a one, and a two, and a three. And labeling our graph. Okay, starting from, let's just start from left to right. Two options, upwards or downwards. Okay, go ahead, try to see which one you get. Okay, I'm gonna pick the test point negative 10. So plugging that in here to my options, that's gonna be a positive. Oh, interesting, anything I put into here, since I'm squaring it, it'll always be positive. So that second term, regardless of what the sign is, the number that I, th I throw in there, it's gonna be positive because it's being squared. Okay, so that'll be positive. And then that'll be negative, so the sign is gonna be a negative. Aha, the negative one today. Okay, next one, above or below. Okay, I'll pick the test point, negative one. Plugging that in, that's gonna be positive, positive, negative. Okay, same thing, we'll end up with a negative sign. So, that means the bottom has one. The negative value is where it's gonna be. All right, we have two more sections to be testing. So, once again, I'll put in my two options, positive or negative. And let's pick a test point in here. Um, I'll go with one. So plugging that in, that's gonna be a negative, positive, and negative. Total sign though, when I multiply these three factors out, will end up being a positive sign, because that's negative times positive, and then that negative times positive, or negative, sorry, which gives me a positive. Ah, so positive wins. And there we go. Last one to check, we're so close. All right, positive or negative. I'll pick 10 as my test point. Plugging that in, that'll be negative, positive, positive. Okay, remember I'm plugging it in to this to check the signs. And sign will be negative, which means the downward wins. And this is a rough idea of what our graph looks like. Just a sketch. Please remember your arrowheads on either side. That is it for 3.2. Here's your written homework, five points, due at the end of the week. Please email me if you have any questions.